Um, I'm Anna Maria Pascal. I'm a doctor in philosophy. My background is really in philosophy. I, my PhD was in uh, uh, American pragmatism. Um, but I've also got an, an MBA in international business, and uh, this is what takes me a little bit further, I'm afraid, than, than philosophy, which means I get to teach um, quite a lot of business modules here at, uh, at Regions. I'm principal lecturer, by the way. That is the equivalent of a reader in a, in a research-oriented university. But since we are a teaching university, yeah, that's what you get, principal lecturer. Um, I was a lecturer at the University of, Ex of Essex and a um, uh, researcher, a senior researcher, doing research on corporate crime and white collar crime. Um, I was also working in a human rights NGO for five or six years um, that was called the Center for Corporate Accountability. Um, I started by being the office manager and I ended up being the UK director because I was more interested in research and policy work than I was in. Uh, uh, getting the budgets right, which I also managed to do. Um, and um, I had another few um, different lectureships in, in, in other universities. Okay, there's two reasons why ethics is really, really important. One is because it's the right thing, you know, in life. Um, being ethical means trying to be the best you can. And, uh, and I think in business, if you can't get that right in business, you're not going to get it right in your life either. So it's important to be ethical because it's the right thing to do. Secondly, for uh, practical reasons, businesses, even small ones, not necessarily just the uh, multinational corporations that we all think are um, big and powerful, any business, any, any social construct does not live in a void. Um, it, it lives in a society. It takes something away from the society. Infrastructure, labor, um, that is, employees, people who have families, um, etc. It has consumers, it has other, what we call stakeholders, people with a stake in that business. So the way the business behaves has an impact on all of these different categories of people. If a, if, um, if a company misbehaves from a health and safety point of view, for example, if they fail to replace a piece of equipment that's, that's faulty, that needs to be replaced, uh, people can get either injured or, or they can die, and that obviously has an impact on their family. And that's just the most basic um, example, really. But consumers, if you don't invest in, enough in, in research and development, which is the right thing to do and you don't test it enough, or you don't put the right kind of information on the packaging, then your consumers are going to be directly affected. That's called um, negative impact on your stakeholders. So it's very, very important to behave ethically because the way you behave has very, very significant consequences on a wide um, number of people, on a very large um, number of different categories of people. First of all, let's think of what values really are. Um, the word comes etymologically from Latin. Valere means to be strong, to be well. Um, that means the true meaning of the word value is a principle, whatever value you choose, it should be a principle that you live by. It should be a principle that you implement in practice, not a window dressing exercise. That's linked, the reason I'm saying that is because it's linked with the, what I believe is the most important value, which is integrity. Integrity understood as, um, as consistency between what you say, what you declare, what you put in your memorandum of association, or what you put on your website, what you put on your leaflets, when you have marketing meetings, etc., and what you actually do in practice is between your words and your action. If you don't have that, that is called um, virtue ethics, by the way, in, in business ethics. is one of the major philosophical um, theories that, that found uh, business ethics. Um, the principle of integrity. If you don't have that, you will lose customers and you will lose yourself. You will not know who you are and what, where your business is. So that's the first one, the most important one, I think. Um, secondly, I'm going to risk it and say... Um, humility. Be a little, keep a grain of, uh, of modesty. 
make room for others. Because if you're not humble, basically what happens is you forget to listen to everyone else. And if you forget to listen to everyone else, that includes your customers, it includes your employees, it includes your mother, your father, your sisters, you know, everyone is, is, is amongst others. So you will stop very soon doing, serving them. You will stop doing what you've declared, what you set out to do, basically, which is to serve others. And so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm going with humility as, as the second most important value, not just in business, but in life, really.